Mr. John Marquez, Bench Made Knife Company. All right, so first of all, congratulations. Thank you. All right, so we got to tell about this wonderful accomplishment. You got the American Made Knife of the Year. Yep. With the new Narrows, so tell us about it, man. What does it feel like, first of all? I mean, it feels great. I mean, obviously, it's a huge team effort. Uh, it's a knife that I've personally been super excited about for quite a while and just been excited to bring it here and show people and get their reactions to it. So, I mean, on top of all the great reception, getting an award has been awesome. So, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Stoked. And now, what do you think? What? Let me tell you, you talk about a future forward, right? Like, that's, that's the theme about this. What about this particular knife is taking what Benchmade is doing for it, but how are you redefining the future of knives in that right now? I mean, for us, like every every now and then we want to do something that's challenging, um, whether it's a, an engineering challenge or design challenge, whatever it is, we want to kind of push ourselves a little bit. Um, so one of the biggest things about this knife is titanium. Um, titanium is an awesome material, it's super strong. As soon as it starts uh, having any heat applied to it through friction when you're milling it, it wants to start warping and changing shape. So it's a it's a pain to, to mill and you gotta run lots of coolant through and you gotta really work on keeping those tolerances. So when you're running it thin like this, that becomes even more difficult. On top of that, thin titanium starts to get brittle. So it's like, how do you cut as much weight as possible from a titanium frame like this, but still have it be strong, durable, and match the same standards that we apply to every single Benchmade knife? So um, a lot of engineering work going into that. And then that process also introduces another problem, which is there's no liners in here. So you can't use the standard axis lock mechanism, which uses Omega Springs. Mm -hmm. So again, another engineering challenge is how do we provide the same action and lockup that you would get from a standard axis lock on a Benchmade, but in a, in a form factor and design that works in this knife. So we actually uh, removed the Omega Springs and designed this new torsion spring axis lock that also let us do something really fun and cool with, this, with uh, the lock stud. So you've got a nice low profile, it's really grippy and still get great action. And again, uh, in the pivots, you've got ball bearings. So super smooth, free swinging action. Love it, it's, it's a great fidget toy, really. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing it myself. And then- This uh, is beautiful. Along with a thin knife, you've also got thin M390 blade steel, PVD coated hardware, and uh, just all around a, a fun knife for us to, to design something that was a huge challenge. Yep. Um, and we've, you know, we've done ultralight in the past and we're like, how do we do ultralight again, but in a way that nobody is expecting. So it's been really exciting. We've loved the reception. People have just been, I'd love to see people's reactions to it when we, when we first hand this to them. Yeah. Because they usually go, wow. <laughs> you know, it's, it's almost the exact same reaction every time. So yeah, it's just been super exciting to see that. And then to get recognized here uh, for best, uh, for the American Made Knife of the Year has been awesome. Cool, all right, so last question. Yeah. I'm a big Steve Jobs, iPhone, Porsche, all of that. I'm all about minimalism and, and how we streamline everything with nature, right? Yeah. You also use a butterfly as your logo, so me, being a sportsman, I'm gonna ask you about nature. How do you think Benchmade knives utilize or are, are inspired by nature? I think the biggest thing is, like, what do people wanna do outdoors? Yeah. Um, it's not necessarily about, like, us saying, telling you how you should use a knife in the outdoors. It's really, like, how are you using knives outdoors? Mm -hmm. And what can we do to make that better? Make that experience better, make it more natural, make it more um, intuitive, and just, Go along for the ride with you. Not tell you how to, you know, use your knife outdoors. Not tell you what kinds of things to do, you know, mm -hmm. while you're out there. Just how do we ride along with you in your pocket and give you something that makes the experience better, no matter what you're doing. And so I think that that's that's the big thing for us is being in the Pacific Northwest. We're all adventurers. We like to be outdoors, and so we really just want people to enjoy that with their knife as much as possible. Absolutely. Appreciate it, my man. Yep. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yep. Thank you so much.